All right, I'm going to, it's four o'clock, I'm going to call the meeting to order of the uh, Town Council Goals Ad Hoc Committee. And um, there are no announcements. Um, right now, there's no public here to comment. We'll allow that if they show up later. Um, we, I got the beginning too. I have sent you a um, revised version of the goals based on our um, discussion last time. And in this revised version, I have off to the right included, so you'll see, for example, the very first one, even though it says my name underneath it, it says Ryan, and it includes a comment from um, George. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So it's not a comment from me, but the only persons I didn't include were Kathy, although I did send you that. And part of the reason I didn't for Kathy is um, because she also got into changing the order. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to do today is get us set up so that we get as far as we can so that our next meeting, which is on the 12th, um, is our last, okay? okay? Except we might have to meet to approve April minutes 12. or something. So it's April 12th from four to six, and it's in this room. So even though I've said in here, let's deal with the order of the goals, the activities, and the timeline, I'm open to the discussion as to whether or not what we'd like to do is take the comments off to the right and see whether or not we've dealt with them first so that we can get rid of timelines. The other thing I did not mention when I sent you this latest version is I have now divided it so that every goal has one page. Oh, okay. So the, we can literally shuffle entire pages when we want to get to the order. Okay. My question is mm -hmm. how do I get this view? I don't, I'm not seeing any comments anywhere in there. So I may not have the right material, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Is this the email I sent you? Yeah, it's the, um, yes. The 325? Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe there's a three. Okay. That's all right. I can, I can answer that. No, I'm just trying to figure out how, maybe somebody else who has this program can show her how to get the comments. Yeah, the comments are just on the side as far as I know. Right, right but she oh, can't. Is it just, hers aren't showing. Hers aren't showing? Is right, it may, different? Let me, let me try. Do we just need to make it smaller? Uh, that's, that's what I just tried. tried. I, don't, I don't think, think, think so. so. I'm sorry to bother you. That's okay. Folks, I should have. This is, this is what I have, which I got from the email. Can oh, give it why can't I make yours small? Because it doesn't like anybody. Um, I think you didn't pull it up in Word. How do I do that? So go back, you can go back to Lynn's email. So go back to your email, which is here. You can use a touch yeah. screen if you want to touch it. Yeah, I gotta use this. Okay. Right. Oh, it's okay. Then yeah. just find Lynn's last email to us about this. And the docs are right in there. Dolly jolly. This one? 328? Mm -hmm. So you want to open up hers. Which one? The, it I depends don't. on your theory. She's got... She's that got one doesn't have the documents. No, the one that I have the documents in. Awesome. Uh, hang on. Here's my. Sarah, if you've got her documents open, go into review and have it show all markups. Okay. I just had it because I. As long as it's the document she sent us. Well, 
just read the comments out and <laughs> I'll figure out <laughs> where we are. Thank you, Sarah. You've, you've got it open to Word, right? <laughs> I can't even find the email now, so. Okay. All right. All right, so the Nor first, uh, the, we're still in the order that we originally had them, okay? The first one is around master plans. Yes. Okay, and George, you had a comment mm -hmm. and it said, have community resources committee, once approved, create a subcommittee and or working group or ad hoc committee of the council along with a planning staff liaison to review, view, revise master plan and then submit to town council for action. Awesome. So, mm -hmm. what I think, first of all, um, I actually discovered the other day in rereading yet again a piece, a portion of the charter, that um, the council actually has to have a forum mm -hmm. every year on the master plan. That's right. But I really feel like we're not ready right. to say, oh, we're going to revise it. Right. So my sense is that this fall, the forum that we'll have will be more, let's get as many people who want to be in a room and the council, let's review the master plan in some kind of highlighted way and begin a conversation and do this jointly with the planning committee because the planning board is actually the group that's charged with this. That's right. right. And yet I think we need to be very active in it and even more active than we have in the school because it's really our master plan. Mm -hmm. So when <clears throat> so then, what, when I look at what you're saying, George. Um, I mean, this may be assuming that we are just a lot farther along than I think, than, than in fact is the case. Right. And it sounds like, I think that's what I got um, reading Kathy's comments too, that this is really presupposing that we're, we're just not this far along yet. We're not ready. Right. Right. I mean, it's going to be an initial discussion. Right. What do we think about it? Right. Where are we doing well? Where are we not doing well? Exactly. No. We're the, not ready to and then, start right. revising and changing things. And we need to talk first. Is there a problem with the master plan or is it the problem with the way, the way we've implemented? You know, I mean, it's going to be that kind of discussion, right? And, so, yeah. so let's, regardless of the dates, right. okay, let's go back to the activities. And should we start with a presentation and discussion of the master plan at town council meeting? Or should we start with a public forum? Oh, interesting. Do I have a mm -hmm. um, suggestion on that? Or? Yep. In the document you all have not yet seen from yeah. rules. Right. Um, mm -hmm. We've looked at how do other towns deal with when you actually want to wrestle with something and it's very helpful, but you're not taking votes. You know, you're at the beginning stage. Mm -hmm. They organize, they can sometimes organize a full week town council meeting, or they can organize a special session where they call them work sessions, round tables, give it any name you want. And they invite other people to be in the room with them. Chris Bishop, you know, whoever right. you think would right. be helpful in that discussion. Right. And it's, I think it's better than a public forum mm -hmm. because of the way the charter has written public forums. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise a public, the charter But are, are the, the public is invited yeah, okay. and they can speak and... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. They're not necessarily at the table with you. So it's, oh, it's pre... So I thought doing that with the council before we have a public mm -hmm. forum would get, what have we identified as some big things that we need to talk about, issues, and then we do a public forum, you would be leading it, and we could say, these are things we've been thinking about. We want to get public input on this. So you don't want the public input at that first meeting that you're suggesting? Yeah, because I think we need to identify at least categories of things. You know, you know, the first three pages are value statements. Do we like the value statements? Yeah. And, and so this free form of the 13 of us, we, could, we can invite anyone we want. The way I understand other towns have done it, you get the people in the room that you want to have a really early discussion. You're not anywhere near to coming up with what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how about this? So rather than call it something we don't have a term for, we'll just call it a special town council yeah, meeting. Yeah, exactly. We call okay. it a special meeting, you know, town we, council meeting. 
and technically you don't have to have public comment at special town council right. meetings. Okay? So we could do a presentation and discussion of the master plan right. of master of the master plan at a special Mike, that's where this going. Like at the, at yeah. a special town council meeting that includes others knowledgeable about the plan. Right. How's that? Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. And take away the words including zoning terms, definitions, etc. Leave that in. Uh, when are we having this discussion? Well, let's not worry about when. Oh, okay. Because okay. it seems like we would know those things by then. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm just, but I'm just trying to get the steps, and yes, then understand. let's get realistic about understand. the steps. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it should include terms and definitions. Yes. So, it's so yes. in many ways, we don't need to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we can put it there to remind right, ourselves. Yes. Okay. So then, uh, instead of coordinate discussion with Community Resources Committee, because they would be part of this early discussion, mm -hmm. maybe the second one is a whole public forum. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. First Convene. Public forum. Um, mm -hmm. About the master plan. Including others. I'm just Um, but about the master plan, period. Yeah. Don't even list all these other people. They get listed over here anyway. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Including can community resources committee mm -hmm. is here. Okay. Then develop a plan to revi review, revise, redo, and and or said maybe and or um, because Kevin has raised Kevin Evan, Evan, Evan has raised yeah. the fact that he's not comfortable with the idea of redo and I think it's only if we get to the point we say you know this is really pretty good but we need to do some tweaks or this is not okay yeah. we need to redo okay I see because I was going to get rid of redo and, yeah. and that would be something by the way I think that's one of the very first responsibilities of community resources working with planning board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And no, so. I, that's, I like that that was in my, because I shoved this all to the end, so it's hard for me to find when I'm talking about this, but that was the sequence of reviewing, revising, to think about this, mm -hmm. not necessarily redo it, but your, your mm -hmm. close look, careful thought about it, and then coming back on a pretty darn good except I've said that, and I've also said there's some things in there I don't but, like. <laughs> yeah, no, so it's but a, yeah, you know, so, yeah, so it may absolutely. Be there's a few things, you know, yeah. on page 50 or page 100 or whatever, but if you like pages 1 through 5, you know, whatever that first list of things we believe in, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. of values. Yeah. So that's where I think, you know, you can be laser-like about it. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, that makes sense. It's not a major no, I don't feel I don't feel like it's that. I, mean, I understand now why redo is there because the possibility exists that we would replace the whole thing, but somehow right. or other I doubt that. I mean, it, right. So. Um, so one of the possibilities, just go back up here, is develop an, and approve a plan to review, revise, and or redo the master plan, mm -hmm. and this would be community resources, um, planning board, and then town council. And then that takes care of the issue that Evan raised. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it has to be a complete redo. I think that's true. Mm -hmm. Does it take care of the issue you raised, George? It's 
because so it seems it, to. I mean, it I, doesn't I, though. But let me tell you why. Well, why? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Notice up <laughs> here, we call at the very thing under responsible parties Friends, committees. Right. We have something we call a master plan steering, steering committee. committee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And I think we need to take it out of there. But the question is, right. is this, is there a group um, that at some point begin implementation when we begin implementation, again, don't pay attention to the goals, mm -hmm. to the dates. Under begin implementation, is that a community resources planning board and then this other group? I don't know if I would name another group. I want to tell you that's too confusing. It's They've been working so hard. Okay, okay. Put planning board first, though? Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does that, planning board, does that really the matter? Appeals works off of the zoning law. You know, maybe I could take out Conservation Commission, Energy and Climate. Take out, except, except for planning board and community resources, maybe, and town council, maybe you don't want to try to name others. Mm -hmm. I would keep it really mm -hmm. short. Sure. And just say others Simple as words. required. <laughs> yes. As the main other one that I think is relevant is the energy and climate action. Yeah, okay. Of what we do that cuts across everything. So at least I would, I would, you know, this subgroup that's thinking about everything, I'd get someone from that. So, you know, to that direct. Right, right. You know, someone from that, so I think this crossover group that we could create has a limited number of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, George, um, what are you thinking? Well, I'm just thinking, once we reach this stage, whenever it turns out to be, of actually sort of implementing it and trying to see whether, you know, overseeing it, reviewing it, revising, what do you want to call that, um, does it make sense to have some kind of ad hoc committee of the council um, just t I'm mean, sort of like a you know a, a subcommittee of the council that that's charged with that specific task or you feel that somehow the um, the community resources committee however they figure it out will be able to keep an eye on this and we don't really have to worry about it and or the president I think between planning and the community resources you've had enough you if know, you start, yeah. if the ad hoc committee of the council is right. like, well, why yeah. do we need ad hoc? We have community resources. Right. Mm -hmm. This would clearly become a main committee. Right. It seems like it would be a central right. aspect of them. Right. Of their work. You know. Some things are flowing to them in a more new way for them to come, and this is one where they're actively. And so one of the, um, it got wiped out. Bishop proposed $50,000. Yeah, 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 I said the wrong one. Christine. Right. Christine. Yeah, Bestrup. Spending $50,000 um, to hire someone to do a facilitator. Right. 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 Yeah. And that was the budget. Well, did we wipe it out or did we, did we put it off to a, a year or two later? A year or two later, but she particularly, the way it was done, it was interesting. Right. But spread out over 15 years, like five years of 50,000, and everyone like, that doesn't, you know, like they're yeah. either focused on it or not. Mm -hmm. like right. Not over. That's right. But anyway, it, 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 there isn't money in the budget for that, but I think beginning it this way is really good to get off the table what do we all think, 
No, that's for sure. Okay, so George, okay. by saying under begin implementation of the plan to review, revise, mm -hmm. and or develop a new master plan, right. under that if we say a subcommittee if desired, That includes other others, period, if desired. Does that take care of your comment? Well, you're putting it now under activities, not under responsible parties. I'm really more focused on responsible parties. I want to know who's That's actually. That's right. I'm, no, I'm we putting hold feet, I'm we hold putting, the fire if this right, is not, if this is happening. just sitting yeah. somewhere and not I'm, getting anything done. I'm putting it under responsible parties. Right. And the okay. thought is that we don't, one argument is we don't really need it because we have the Community Resources Committee and this is a central part of their work and you have the planning uh, board. Right. So you may, you, it sounds like people are saying we don't really need another entity to be quote unquote responsible um, and I could live with that. But, but yes. by the time we get to actually doing a whole process where we redo or revise mm -hmm. the master plan, mm -hmm. Community Resources Committee may have, may decide, along with Planning Board, right. that, you know, we should really have a steering committee for this master plan. Mm -hmm. um, Fine. So, okay. but that's, but and, and that if I say if desired, then that's... Sure, I mean, it, it just it puts out a possibility. But I think the possibility exists without the extra wording, but that's my, you know, my own. In other words, they, they would do that anyway, probably. Yeah. I mean, if you find out in a year into this or two years into it that we need something like it's that, we would just create right. it. So I don't yeah. feel... We don't have to prejudge pre what it might be because yeah. we do what we yeah. need to do. I mean, I can understand the desire to do that, but I don't... I so for me, I mean, uh, basically it means... But it's so up, up to you. Committee. I can go either way. No, don't. Being, taking, paying attention to this. I mean, obviously, we're supposed to be paying attention right. to this yes. group, but they're the ones I would go to and say, what, what's going on? Right. right. Okay, fine. I can live with that. So, in other words, don't include it. Don't I'd mention the steering committee. I'd say don't. Let's, let's leave okay. it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, the, then by, so don't, again, don't look at the dates. So okay. now we've yeah, held exactly. one form in the fall of 2019. And now we have a form on master plan. So maybe we don't, well, we have to have a form. The public form. Maybe the form is what kicks off the planning process. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. yeah. Public forum. What's good about that, Lynn, is that the public is coming in early. They're not coming in after there have been so many meetings and all this other stuff that we already know what we want to do. They're, we're really trying to get them in there fairly. There's the discussion where we're learning and 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 then bringing the public in feels critical at that point. And I'm going to take off the words <coughs> planning and zoning. Okay. Yes. I, I think don't so. think they're in the charter that way. No, it's just okay. on the master plan. Oh. So, so just in summary, basically we're saying sometime in the fall of 2019, mm -hmm. we're going to have a town council special meeting. Yep. So I'm just going to say fall. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Sometime soon after that, we're going to convene a public forum. Yeah. That's fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Okay. Then, excuse me, that's town council. I'm doing all of this. I know. You're, I'm counting on you, Lynn. We had a very good discussion about the master plan. Number and Lynn two. has all the notes. <laughs> okay. And then, like that's all you need to do. And right. then, then we develop, then after that discussion, develop and approve a plan to review, revise, and or redo the master plan. And that goes back to the planning board with the community resources. And I think planning board has to go first. Yeah, you know, oh, I'm getting so what I'm thinking is there's there's two clear activities in the fall of 2019. Right, right. Then there's mm -hmm. the beginning of 2020, which ends in something at the end of 2020. So you're giving people the sense that this isn't a quick and dirty. Yeah. This is, as you said, the start of the discussion is bringing the public in. Mm -hmm. Then there's a deliberative process that's happening with this group that's meeting. And there's another public. 
represents what yeah, we've done in we, a sense. Where we got to yeah. get and input before it's not a decision. Okay. Could, if you can divide it, but there's those lines going across, so it doesn't look like somewhere between 2019 and 2020 we've come up with a vision. And right. It's so develop and approve a planned review, having that sometime in quote winter 2020, mm -hmm. and then begin implementation of the planned review and revise sometime in spring? No. Again, I think fall. Fall 2020. I Let me go back up to develop and approve a plan. I think we should do that by spring. And then have, begin the implementation and have the public forum in fall 2020. And that's town council. Remember, you get all the so, And if, you know, if we're not ready to take this to the council on the 22nd, that's fine. Um, okay. Um, next one is around zoning. And again, you notice I have both George's and Evan's comments here. And the reality is, this really can't happen until. Yeah. You're really trying to revise your zoning in light of your master plan. And yeah. So you are reviewing your master plan. It seems like you're going to, unless there's some very specific things that you know really don't involve the master plan or right. are so obvious blah, 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 it does seem to be a problem how to I'm do this in the next year. year. Just one of the, I think this is difficult for everyone by reorganizing the figures, but my zoning comments are toward the end, but right. the planning board has a subcommittee mm -hmm. called the zoning and something or other subcommittee, that's its name, and since last summer, they've been working on a series of meetings with the zoning board. Right. A week ago or two weeks ago and I said when we were talking then about bringing a proposed recommended set of things mm -hmm. to the planning and to come in mm -hmm. and she said well I heard from Paul and then it was a little slower because you guys weren't ready yet you know meaning mm -hmm. the council because mm -hmm. originally they said within six months mm -hmm. so we're thinking that they'll come up with some recommended report if she hasn't written the report yet you know so what I saw was you know a memo that had a whole list of possible things on it with no judgment on what would be in it, but mm -hmm. some of them were s substantial. Mm -hmm. um, so my only comment was that planning's got something in the works, so okay. the so, sooner we understand okay. what they're thinking, the better. It's not, you know, and it's not us over in one world while they've got a working document. Um, so do we invite them So let me, okay. let me suggest mm -hmm. that I think the zoning bylaws are going to fall into two categories. There's going to be the ones that are so obvious now that we, we need to take care of them, okay? Then there's going to be the other ones that we're going to say, you know, I think this really depends on our master plan. And so for the time being, we'll let, we're going to let this bylaw exist, or we're going to do a slight modification, but let's label it up front. Mm -hmm. Now, you're on bylaw review. Yeah, but not zoning bylaw. I mean, we're, it's very interesting. Um, I'm not actually looking at the zoning bylaws. There's a Yet. whole other group doing that. That's what Ooh. I, there. Is it, it's this planning board? Yeah, and I think, I mean, initially, it, with the bylaw review, they also looked at zoning, but now it's gone to planning. I tried talking with the group about that, and it seemed that they felt that's the way it should be, but I feel like the bylaw review committee, there is a point at which we meet with the uh, zoning review committees and then look at it and, and uh, 
just kind of come together around both. That dot, that zone. Yes. Is very short, and to change the word town meeting to town council. I know. I understand yeah, so, that. So part, when I watched them do their quick review, it had like five words of changes in it, as yeah. opposed to it didn't get right. into any zoning. Uh, no, and I think that's what the planning board is right. supposed to be doing. Supposed to be doing. But I do think that there needs to be some way um, to make sure that something substantive didn't change. In what yeah, I don't think to. anything substantive has changed in the uh, zoning bylaw because I think it was pretty clear. Um, and I'm assuming, and I can meet, I'm going to arrange with Paul to meet Christine. So I will, uh, I can talk to her about where they are with it. And, and um, but it seems to me that the bylaw committee that is really giving over and that may be fine I'm just um, where is it yeah discussion of, let me see uh, they're going on a field trip I wish I would incorporate those zoning bylaws identified by town council into the master plan review and revision um, and that's following the presentation and discussion of zoning bylaws um, at the town coordinated by, with the bylaw review, uh, identification of. So it seems to me we, we have to be, um, it's not clear who's doing that presentation. And it would be great if it were at my committee, the bylaw review committee, because I would like to really look at some of these zoning things right, so and understand I understand them. you're, you know, I'm probably one is just a simple two words. Yes, yes. Then there's I, this larger document. Right, I understand that. they're working that. on two tracks. Yes. And I thought we'd already voted on those um, really soon, like in December. We went to a meeting where this simple document came up again and they said that was fine. So it should, it should come right back to you guys. I don't think it's that, yeah. I'll, I'll do a you double know, check. Was, they, they were, you know, a whole bunch of people were really worried that we were doing major changes of the zoning law. Work. Right. It should be, certainly it should be part of the doctrine. But part of what we're doing at, as the regular bylaw is to look at ones that we feel, for whatever reason, anyone on the committee, we've, you know, we've adjusted the language and everything, but we have questions about, and we want, when we share with the council, to highlight some of those. And I think that needs to be particularly done around zoning, too, right. uh, as part of this. No, exactly. It's something more happening. That, that's not exactly what I'm saying, but I think we're on the same track. Okay. So we're trying to divide this into two categories. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One yeah. is hope, considered to be relatively simple or non-controversial or right. I said mm. basically Low identify fruit. Yes. identification <laughs> of zone by, zoning bylaws the town yep. council would like to review and change prior to the revision or redo and or redo of the master plan Excellent. Yeah. and ident identify those that may need further revision upon completion of the master plan. Mm -hmm. So, and we would, I'm saying we would do that in the fall. So the two, the committees involved here, let's just jump to responsible parties for a moment. Mm -hmm. Planning board, mm -hmm. community resources, mm -hmm. bylaw review, Yes. Linda, let me ask you on this pressure to try to read even that first step of yep. the law. Yeah. Um, my comment last time, I would like to set goals that we think are truly achievable. Mm -hmm. And that we're not. I totally agree. And, not, and we're not setting a goal that if we tried to do it that fast, we might not do it the way we wanted to do it. You know, like we don't even have time to think about it. So we're in. I'm assuming we get it from the planning board right. and the bylaw review group. You know, that, mm -hmm. that, that the planning board will pick out of their laundry list. Right. You know, if you were going to start anywhere, here are the right. three things. Housekeeping, um, things that right, would 
Timothy Lohane. You know, they, and they had a few things, but should we make sidewalks around town larger? You know, the minimum sidewalks. You know, they had things like that on the list. Mm. Uh, okay. You know, should the inclusionary zoning law apply more than we write it now? And then they had some little ones. You know, should we define what a multi-use building is? Mm -hmm. so if it has only an ATM machine, is it one? You know, I mean, they had some, and then they had four big buildings, so I saw the whole photograph. Right. So they had a really that long list of little ones and big ones. So asking them to go through it and try and check out what we call low hanging fruit, and present that to the council well, would be come with a subset. Right. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, I don't know how it would be done. I don't See, know that's what do otherwise I, I don't do like. We, can, we can't do. It. Right. We need right. It has to be somebody who really knows this stuff. To them, have someone really close to it, mm -hmm. and then we would all have to agree it's low hanging fruit because we yeah. want to change the so. way it's being suggested. Right. Because what might be low hanging fruit to one group. Yeah, so in any but at some point this fall, we have to deal with all bylaws. Right, that's right. Whether they're zoning or non zoning. Right. Okay. And so let me try this. Okay. First activity would be presentation and discussion of zoning bylaws at special town council meeting, coordinated with bylaw or just at special town council meeting. And then I have. The responsible parties being planning board, bylaw review ad hoc. That bylaw review isn't ad hoc, it's just bylaw review. Right. It's a year long committee that yeah. can be done. You're right, right. right. Okay, and town council. Then I have identification of zoning bylaws that we would like to review and change prior to revision and redo of the master plan and those mm -hmm. that we want to hold. And again, fall 2019. Stop. Yes. Just right. stop yes. right there. Do we do a field trip? Or do we have the field trip? I think that would come later after we're looking at it in the bigger well, picture, right? And I actually Oakland wonder if the, the field trip shouldn't happen first because then we have a reference for looking at the bylaws that's kind of different. We've gone to see what... How about it between the special meeting and the time we identify? Yeah. I like that. Okay. So... This gets really tricky because now I have to add a line in here. I'm so glad Insert I wanted to go on a field trip. <laughs> above. Okay. Conduct I tried to a work field trip around town. <laughs> Cut. Put that That's up kind of field here. Right there. Paste. And we're going to do that in the fall of 2019. And. That's also going to be with the planning board. I think the zoning board better come in here somewhere. Yes, that better come this in initial, here. <laughs> this initial field trip, I like that. The initial mm -hmm. field trip is we're, we're traipsing around town and we're trying to say this part of town is zoning and this part is, which means X, Y, and Z is going to happen, right? right? Yeah. And notice you just moved a quarter of a mile over here, and now this is it's zoned. zoned We have this in our code that allows cluster housing with properties that otherwise would have had to keep mm -hmm. them with land rent. You know, so I think that's good because it's, you'll notice this doesn't exist in many parts of town because right. it would be more on the We allowed it to exist here. We allowed right. it to yeah, exist it be here great if it were more. and we tried it and we liked it and then we let number two come in and North Hampton's got one of them, but this was not a pre-zoned for this. Right. 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 Okay. So that would be good. I mean, so it does seem that at some point we have to take up those zoning by bylaws we think we can go ahead and change. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we have to do that in the fall because this is the bylaw review thing. That's right. Okay. And I just...
Yeah, that's that's been mostly done. Yes, yeah, so that's been mostly done. So if if zoning is planning on doing more than that, we should get an early alert because Well, I don't think they can change a zoning bylaw without it coming to council, can they? Yeah, yeah. they can't. You know, yeah. so, but I mean if they even envision making that part of the, this initial bylaw review, it hadn't been discussed that way. That was a really long process going on, the things they were thinking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then, so we get done, we 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 have our first special meeting, okay, and we, it's our primer on zoning. <laughs> we go on a field trip. Oh my God, that's why that building happened, okay? <laughs> then we come back and we say, you know, these are pretty easy ones right here, okay? And we should act on those, okay? And, but these are much more complicated mm -hmm. And we'll be informed by the master plan. Yeah. Okay, that's all in the fall. Yes. And then late in the fall, before December second, mm -hmm. <laughs> we revise those by we re adopt revised. And can I just proposed? I mean, this is assuming revised. I, I'm comfortable with this as long as the assumption is we actually find easy to do, widely agreed on. No. Then we basically say there are none. Yeah. 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 So as long as we say yeah. there is this bucket, if we yeah. think there might be a bucket. Right. Okay. So sometime in the fall. There's no guarantee that we'll have to change anything. Right. We adopt proposed revised bylaws identified as ready for action. Oh, I like that. And then we stop. And <laughs> and the this it's interesting. This very last activity is actually written completely backwards. The town, the master plan informs upon completion of master plan. Plan review and revision. Upon completion right. of master plan review, revision, slash redo. Review those zoning bylaws. Whoops. Um, identified. by town council prior to revision of the master plan? I think upon the completion of the master plan review and revision, you would need a body, some body, and not the council as a whole, to um, go through zoning and or think about it, think about zoning in light of this new revised master plan. Some, some entity would have to do that, right? It, it won't be done that by the council. That would be the planning board. Well, it, it could be a planning board. It could be the planning board combined. I mean, that's part of my note on the side there. Right. But, and it may not be fly. But I, I think you're going to need a group of people um, to go through it and look at it from the point of view, OK, here's your master plan. Here's your zoning. Um, where are some issues? Where are some problems? Um, and then make some recommendations. And then the council uh, will have to look at that and, and decide. But I don't think you can just, uh, um, you know, but you're right, you have to do the master plan first. And then we look at zoning in light of that. And the question is, who, who does the looking? Um, and and it, it won't be the council. Um, we will not have, individually, not have the time nor the expertise to, to do that. We don't have any. It would be the planning board. Well, it certainly would be them. And, and you could just leave it with them. Um, and then they, then they come back to us and say, OK, here's what we think. Um, I was thinking it might be fruitful, but again, this may be totally naive or, or just a non-starter. But this town does have a lot of people that are really good at this stuff. 
who don't work for the planning department and are citizens of Amherst, and you could create some kind of, of body that would take an independent or fresh look. Um, they would not have any kind of, and they don't make the decision, but they would bring, I think, considerable expertise and experience um, to these broad issues, and they would make some recommendations. So you, you could just leave it with planning. You could uh, take something like I have in mind and combine the two. Um, I, yeah. I really like your idea uh, of having an independent group, uh, and I think on several levels. One, it is a fresh eye, and uh, the other part is, again, around transparency. So things aren't happening in the planning board and here and there, mm -hmm. even if, no matter how public we make it, but here if there's this separate committee that looks at the work that's been done, right. looks at the master plan, and, and offers recommendations. Right. So why don't we, and if we had, I, I like this idea mm -hmm. a lot, if we had, if we could be a small group, and as you said, you know, they know not just families, but they know other places, you know, in terms of planning, and some stuff, a white paper, a background paper, if right. we had these, this vision in the master plan, and we're not getting the results we want, why is it? Well, that, that but, but they would be an endorsement in Buckingham, just getting some results that we really like, you know, like in the town and the town character, and they did some zoning on the changes, but someone was thinking through, like, this is the, where we want, mm -hmm. and what's not happening, and it wasn't just, you know, I mean, people we've got in town, we've got a lot of people who have had planning experience, that have, and so, you know, that could help us know things that we wouldn't could right. see. They would bring considerable experience and expertise. Now, it, the challenge would be very clearly to get the council to agree as to who those people should be. Yeah. And oh, that, right. that may become, <laughs> impo it may become impossible. No. And would they the work for free because they love the town, you know, which is, we don't have, we can't say we're going to, you know. Oh, no, this would truly be, if you could do it, it would be a service. But the other issue is, can, can you get through the appointments process? <laughs> yes, you can. What? Trust Oka. Damn. Okay. Well, I know I am Oka. I know. <laughs> okay, but anyway, that's my thought, is that, that some kind of, uh, would, would be helpful. But you could just leave the plan, and you also may have a problem with planning. Planning may not be happy with having some independent body do what they see with their jobs. So, so what we yeah, chose to do boss, right? the last, when this came up just earlier, was not dictate it. Yeah. Just leave it that blank. That led it to the plan uh, and leave it blank, rather than say, who is this other group right. out there? You already start people wondering, we'll yeah. just you know, By the way, what, we'll see what happens. this thing is much more than most people would do in setting goals. Mm -hmm. Most people would do the first column and then let the rest yeah. go. But I I can't do it that way because I have well, to. I'm, I mean, for I'm just this. a planner, yeah. and I you know I I want to see a plan that says what do we have to do to get there. Right. So and let me so let me try the following on you, right. okay. Uh, and and make sure that you read the comments from Evan from Ryan. And I'm sorry, George. Right. Yep. Uh, right. And Mandy Jo. Uh, let's see. Didn't read hers. Right. So the planning board should be pushed. That's absolutely right. What, what Evan has. And then ignore mine because I've already written something else. <laughs> okay. So here we are. This is the. And the real question is have we addressed their comments? Okay. Right. okay. So this is zoning to review, discuss, and develop a plan to revise zoning regulations consistent with the adopted master plan. Maybe that goal has to be restated. Restated? Could you just repeat again? You said um, review the goal. The way it's stated right. is review, discuss, and develop a plan to revise zoning regulations consistent with the master plan. Maybe we don't want to say consistent with the master plan. Because? Could I get a little more on that? Uh, because 
Hmm. No, let me just take that back. Mm -hmm. the, the argument was once we have that master plan shaped, then we go back and fit the zoning. The only thing that doesn't fit is those goals, those zoning mm -hmm. bylaws that we set already could be due now. Review, discuss, and develop. Review, discuss, and develop a plan. Why don't we just say review, discuss, and revise? Well, develop a plan allows you, at least we thought that you could create a white, you know, it, by the way, some it, kind of independent entity, or you could not. It's not regulations, but, it's bylaws. In light of whatever changes there have been to the master plan. Basically, that's what you're doing. You're, you're, now that you've got this master plan hopefully settled on, you want somebody, something, some entity to go through it in light of zoning and bring it into conformity. Really, you're trying to bring it into conformity with hmm. um, your new master plan. That would be the So, right? zoning. Review, discuss, and revise zoning bylaws. To bring them into conformity with? Is that yeah. too much? No, it's... Or in light of? <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's, the first it's, again, I'm, I'm back to that two-stage thing. Right. Mm. Well, this is now Review. stage two. Stage yes. one, you've already, I, I thought, you dealt with by saying, you know, we'll solicit, uh, you know, low-hanging fruit type, however we phrase it, low-hanging type fruit You know what? This, is, this, this goal is going to have an A and a B. Review, discuss, and revise zoning bylaws. A. That, what did I say lower, below? Um, that are ready for action mm -hmm. without for action prior to adoption of the master plan. Mm -hmm. That's A. And kind of phase one or A, sure. And then, and then B, B is. Upon completion of master plan review and revision, something like that, right? Or the adoption. Upon adoption of you know the new master plan or the master plan, um, to what devise <laughs> whatever we have. <laughs> I would say and develop and to discuss and revise. Right. That's the yes, zoning bylaws. Are her revisions coming up on your? I'm not, I'm not seeing her revisions. Yeah. No, you're not. I do have. Look at Sarah. Um, I got it gonna, somehow. This is this is where it is. You know, we're going to have SharePoint when we do the next, the yeah. last meeting. She's revising her documents. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have to just. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, I wouldn't do it with SharePoint. I would just do it with a projector yeah, no, that's off of this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't. That I don't. I actually don't like SharePoint. Uh, well, we've been downloading it to our laptop, working on it, and I'm hoping that it'll the original thing disappear. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. Is oh, Pat, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you left us. Right, just to get a lot the goal the is zoning, review, discuss, and revise zoning bylaws mm -hmm. A that are ready for action prior to adoption of the master plan, and B, and that's where I'm struggling, right. that a, okay, that, um, and B, that. Upon completion, uh, do you want to insert? Upon adoption of the master, master plan, plan, that were 
identified. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. I, I'm going I'm, to. I don't right. want to hold the up. I'll look up. I'll look for words there. Mm -hmm. So basically, what that now says. So then, this is fall. 2019 to through 2020 through 2020 exactly and yes and I've got planning board bylaw review ad hoc it's not ad hoc no uh, what is it bylaw review committee I think it is zoning board of appeals Yeah. Why? We're dealing with zoning. Yeah, they, they deal with the actual. I just mean planning. Right. I mean, zoning board is still might have a group of associations that are constantly getting appeals. You know, uh, garnish. See, I would think you would bring them in. I hmm. think they should Early. be there. Hmm. Yeah. So you know, they come. Hey, we're constantly dealing with people who want to have buildings closer to the street. Yeah. Well, well, guess yeah. what? People don't like that. Um, so I have a planning board, community re, uh, resources committee, bylaw review committee. Conservation? Yeah, I took conservation and energy because now yeah, you're getting the point, yes, name yes. them all, right, and then right. town council. So then the first real activity is present presentation to discussion of zoning bylaws at special town council meeting. Fall 2019, I've got Planning Board, Community Resources, Zoning Board of Appeals, Bylaw Review, Town Council. Then conduct field trip around town, hold <laughs> workshop. Mm -hmm. Hold workshop or just conduct field trip? Well, I, I think they should be connected, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I do too. And it's right. more than we've just a field stuff, trip. Like yeah, yeah, I want us to come back together and reflect on what we've well. seen and, and yeah, listen yeah. to our differing points of view. I'm sorry. And I also know and have the people that So we'll, we'll call it workshop for the time being. Same group. Um, then we have this one where we split them into two piles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, And then we adopt those that are ready. And that's all done in the fall of 2019, okay. but before December 2nd. And then we review and recommend revisions to zoning bylaws upon completion of the master plan. And that's a TBD upon completion of the master plan. Right. Mm -hmm. We can't say when that's going to be. And then review and adopt. Oh, that was review and recommend revisions. And that would right. come from the planning board. And then review and adopt those zoning bylaws identified during the master plan review and revision. And that's the town council. Okay. So then under the activities, you've got, when I understand this open goals, I'm, visual, I'm just typing on your thing so I can see yeah. Exactly, which is what right. we're doing. Exactly. So, look at the comments again. I'm just, so I'm mainly saying that um, you and your activities are saving on the division to make it clear that the fall of one year is going to be anything new. We're not redoing the entire code. Um, right. That was just scary thing when I first read it. Thank you. 
So I think we've taken care of Evans. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, the Citizens Committee, we've decided that's getting into more detail than we're going we to say. We want to right. hear, right, I agree. There seems to be some sympathy for this at some point, but it's way too early. Right. Yeah, so, who knows what right. George, look at but your comment and see if we've taken care of it. I think you have. Okay. Then we go down, and Evan had one. Well, it's playing board, playing board an opportunity, and I, we, we did do we that. that. Oh. Okay. Um, Kathy, I want you to be looking at, and Mandy Jo said, She wants to know whether this is safe. Yeah, it powerful. has to be a form. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, but now I want to know, Kathy, whether we've taken care of all of your suggestions. Hi. Five o'clock Friday afternoon. <laughs> Why are we all here? Why are we all here? What's wrong Why with are you people? here? Get out of here. <laughs> Excuse me, but you could have shown up with the cocktails. <laughs> You realize we're on tape, gang, just so we know. Thank you for your service. Yes. <laughs> I like He's that. He's at you. I don't blame him, man. Yeah, I don't you either. have taken care of mine. I mean, when I get into my reload thing and put it toward the end, I mean, one of the reasons I wanted to, we can talk about that next meeting of what's the order of these goals. Mm -hmm. The goals that are uh, taking a, a look at the major things in town are whether we should step in and Oh, yeah, that's... And there's something in their zoning law called an impact fee. Mm -hmm. And I asked Mr. Bishop why we don't have that. There was one of Best What? Best strip. <laughs> well, Chris, Chris, I asked Chris, why do you know many mm -hmm. towns have it in Massachusetts? She said there was a court case years ago that stopped one. And that one reached too far and said, new families with kids moving in, we want you to pay part of the cost of the school. Uh, so you know, in other words, it, it reached really far yeah. as opposed right. to... Um, we're redoing the sewer system. We're redoing mm -hmm. right. putting wires into the street. And, mm -hmm. and developers take this for an oh, idea yeah. like the public sector to pay for those costs so they can mm -hmm. develop. Right. But, but it, so it's a major change if we got it through Cape Cod has it. So I was trying to see who has it in town. Mm -hmm. But it's only Montana apparently has it everywhere. Montana. But I'm Another reason think. to stay out of Montana. But in any case, I think there are these, <laughs> One more. These, these, there are these bigger ideas that we don't necessarily want to make. We have to think about it, right? right? Yeah. So I just want to Generally make sure. speaking, we need to think about so all of this. I just want to make sure the way we write this, it's yeah. we're being, on zoning, we're getting inputs, we're right. getting yeah. Yeah. Right. We're not opinions and ideas from homegrown people. Right. Um, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Right. So right. however our word choices are that but again, that's the kind of detail 
that you know could go could be developed by the planning board. Right. I, it's writing that into the plan. No, it's just, okay. And it's one or two words, Lynn, that just couch it in a um, larger values. You know, that mm -hmm. we're, so I don't know how you write it to get this, but this is going to be thoughtful, deliberate, you know, not just brought up for the door. Yeah, I don't think any. I don't think we need to have something in this plan. Not these so goals much. about we're going to do this right. We're not going to do it bad. No, no, it's That's what you're saying. It's under the activities. If you show yeah. that we're launching in a series of considered steps, it right. means that oh, like okay. we're not going to do So not under goals, but under these activities, just the list is right. these yeah. steps will then help right. give you a sense that we're doing it and are careful. Right, and so far that seems to be the yeah. case, yeah. I think. But I agree, if we, see, right, if we see just something just troublesome, we'll... Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so let me, in the interest of, because I'm beginning to already realize we need at least one other meeting. Yeah, we do. Um, so let's go on to, um, we'll come back and look at these when you get an extra revision. Uh, zoning the goal, bylaw review. Now, Pat gave me this, what to fill in here, and Pat, I've made one change. Okay? Go for it. And that is, uh, I've actually made two changes. Rather <laughs> than say, you it's know, fine. September, whatever, I say summer or fall yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know. But under bylaw review, complete and adopt the general and zoning bylaws, and then I say in prints, C zoning bylaw goal. So that rather uh, than yeah, that's this fine. one, that yeah, one, I don't whatever. Have any trouble mm -hmm. with okay. either of those. Then uh, I've left in all of the ones that you've recommended at, as activities, except the very last one. I just say adopt recommended revised bylaws. That's fine. Same. Yeah. This entire thing, I have no okay. And this because I wrote it. This is the, and the only thing I've done is change all the ones that said August to summer. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, I've changed fine, the very right. last one to fall. Fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and yeah. in this case, it's bylaw review committee and town council. Right. And it's in truth, uh, st looking straight at the bylaws, we're not talking about zoning right. now. We're moving really quickly. Yeah. I mean, they'd already had six revisions when we got started. So. Right. Okay, on this next one, which is budget and fiscal, we have two comments, one from George and one from Mandy Jo. So let's read those comments. All right, so finance committee's there, and that's good. I thought JCPC should be there, but maybe not. Um, this is where I inserted a whole separate goal on capital. Okay, you have a separate and goal. Do, but no, there is a goal on capital. Maybe we should look at, let's look at goals. There is a goal on capital plan, plan slash projects, adopt a cap, comprehensive capital plan. So I don't, so let's, let's just, this is just budget. Yep. Let's, yeah, yeah, okay. Budget. Budget? Okay. But should I include JCPC here? Yes. yes. Okay, so finance committee, joint capital planning, Okay, for Towns Committee, Budget Coordinating Committee, Audit Committee, and Town Council. Yes. Okay. Um, that takes care of George, your right. That's me. comments. Okay. Then um, Mandy Joe, I think, was in the same category as you. I would add this to the Capital Public Hearings in the fall for the residents. Interesting. So, so we, we've been talking in finance, but I talked to Mandy, <coughs> not in Excuse finance, me. but she's on JCPC, of moving the entire discussion of capital earlier. You know, so we start talking about it in the fall. The JCPC capital? The entire, entire JCPC. Okay. Moving it earlier. So it's on its own separate track anyway, but then people to come in with it, the departments coming in, working out, the, we know roughly how much Northampton separates this way so they can be having a real focus on what are you going to do about 
So we're getting way too late this year. Yeah, well, so remove up above where it says convene. So just look at these yeah. various things. I added joint capital planning out under convene public forum and hearing on capital expenditures. We have to do that in yep. May, June. Okay, I have to still set the date for that. Uh, we have to review and recommend revised timeline for public recommendations to JCPC. Yeah, I think we should do that no later than summer of 2019. Yep. And that's where I was going. Right. I didn't put these in, but in uh, summer would also be, we're agreeing with Paul who would have to excel, you know, continue to help schools and libraries. Mm -hmm. We want you to come in and do capital ideas in November this year. Mm -hmm. you know, and we're gonna, when the citizen capital is like open it up starting in November, we're not gonna close it down until January, you know, between yeah, the months. Right. So before we can establish the budget policy guidelines, it seems to me like there has to be some kind of discussion, and that discussion mm -hmm. should be with the town manager and the budget coordinating committee, shouldn't it? It is, and in the past, compared to now, there was a four board meeting that happened in the fall. Yeah, and there could still be a three board meeting. Yeah. So that would be, so that's another one. Presentation and discussion of projected revenues. Right. That would take place in the fall. And just before this one, we had established the FY21 budget. Yeah. You know, that right. happened just before that. Right. And literally, and I think. presented us, right? Yeah. It was done earlier than, than we usually right. talk about town manager meetings. Right. Yeah. And what I watched happen this year, because I just went to the two meetings, is that happened Okay, so in this, um, up above under parties, don't even worry with the date. <laughs> you just added JCPC, right? Yeah, I've added JCPC. Um, and um, I've added under of convened public forum hearings, and that's getting done with what we had to do in 2000, mm -hmm. for this year. Mm -hmm. Then I have a new one called Review and Recommend Revised Timeline for Public Recommendations to JCPC. That would be during the summer. Mm -hmm. 
and that's JCPC and town council, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is it JCPC and finance? No, we're not a subcommittee of finance. Okay. Um, presentation and discussion, then a new one. Presentation and discussion of projected revenues, fall 2019. That's town council, school committee, library board. See, the finance committee used to be the other committee, but the reality is the finance, oh, the finance committee is the town council. Right. So, because it's so right, even when it was separate, okay. the, that entire meeting that I went to was driven by all of its own. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. They're pretty much there. They're yes. just, right. they're reporting right. out. So, right. you know, the tax assessor has just told them, yeah. you know, right. the revenues and right. they're doing their best guess of state stuff. Mm -hmm. Wait till right. it's right. Cherry right. Shows come out. Yeah. So they usually right. will, the state is used to what the town manager, you know, report, fiscal report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is, in fact, establish FY2000. Yep. Budget policy. So the only thing I feel like I feel like we need to put in here is something that the citizens, I mean, the budget coordinating committee does. Well, maybe we can come back to it because it's not clear to me what they do. Um, right. That's <laughs> you know, in other words, there used to be, it was, to me, when I was asking people, it was kind of like in the early conversation. Took care of that. Cover. We're going to need four percent, and the rest of the town can only get one percent. You know that might be the early heads up, but we can't just level budget everybody. And when you see Jane getting like that's mm -hmm. unusual. Do you want me to right. throw out something truly controversial? Go for it, girl. Review and recommend revised timeline and guidelines for the town manager. No, no, for. Um, community preservation. Oh, hmm. I don't think we can put it in here. Why do, why do you? Let me tell you why. Um, no, the, first of all, I think they got delayed this year because of just the change in mm -hmm. government. Sure. Right. Okay. Sure. But um, Community Preservation Act, I think, is very minimally understood by most people. Right. It's actually our tax dollars. Yeah, that's right. Okay? It's and it's pot. it's a state it's a special pot right. created by the state mm -hmm. and there are special requirements around um, what it can be spent for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recreation, um, open space um, and housing or some such thing. Right. Okay. Right. So it literally is a pot of money that you and I pay into. And there's a committee that gets together and it's prescribed by state law. Right. And they review everything from, should we spend this money on playgrounds? Okay? To should we spend this money <coughs> to preserve a historic collection of costumes? And there's a whole part of me that says you should be choosing those things that have the most impact on the most people. And then the other thing is that as we as a town have tighter and tighter finances, having that pot, having that pot be used more and more for something that is part of capital and is part of you know the regu the town, instead of just being this pot of money out there that people think is just like it's free cash and I'm like when well, it's not free cash I paid for that yeah. and yeah. and you know and I'll, I'll give you an example in the past I know that there is a house on Northeast Street that that money was used for two hundred thousand dollars of it to keep that house as a historic preservation is that the Simple Gifts Farmhouse? No. No, the white, it's a different? No. No, it's, the, it's that brick house on Northeast Street. The big brick one. That oh, behind oh. it is the Chihuahua's yeah. big yeah. McMansion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, yes. No, and I'm, I'm going, yeah. 
Why? What good was that? Yeah. I mean, I believe in historic preservation. I'm not, that's not my issue about historic preservation, but it's like, wow. for who? Well, these, One come, these all come to us for our approval. This whole yes, they do. There was a big yeah. slap about that at the time. Mm, yes, there was. I was at the meeting yesterday. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, both of us, and Dorothy was too. Yeah. And it I did wasn't. seem to me that there was more emphasis on housing and this, time, yes. this yeah. time than probably other times. So, um, and and the and reality is, I think I think there's a required twenty percent has to go to recreation, twenty percent has to go to. So okay, and I don't know what that's, that's, that's. I'm assuming you're accurate. Maybe we need to start with just because that's not how they were. Uh, maybe rating. we need to have yeah. a special town meeting, a special town council meeting, on CPAC. CPAC. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I would well. Or at least a one-hour session where we go yeah, yeah, through yeah, the yeah. Yeah. You know, Again, it's not enough voting, but what it is, it isn't. Because I the same way, and then I keep seeing, like, oh, we're doing potentially doing the North Commons, because we've got CPAC money, and then yeah. all the rest of it will be done. But that's on, yeah, but see, that's on hold, and I think that... Yeah, but the way it's discussed is that CPAC is grant money from the state is the way, it, you know, it's like some wonderful thing. Yeah. 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 It's just part of the real estate. Right, it's just right, a way of us. But we're required to have it by the state. Yeah, no, I, uh, I no. Or one, no. if you have it, then you have to follow their regulations. Then you have regulations. to follow their regulations. But how and do what you would you know? a larger plan of, of, of what we're trying to accomplish yeah. as a town and also in terms of the fiscal realities, mm -hmm. since it is really property tax money? Yeah. And then when would you say the one is a multiple recreation? Well, it's very interesting to listen to the um, North Amherst uh, renovation that's being done uh, on Simple Gifts because it, you know, there's been a lot of volunteer work on it. There's been money from CPAC before. Now they're asking for th about $30,000 to replace windows. But um, there are seven or eight people who live in that house who work on the farm and are students. So in a way, it is providing affordable housing. Uh, there was some disagreement whether that was true or not. Mm -hmm. I think that they are, given that I know some of the people from there come to the survival center. Uh, with the, to, so there, and it's educational. They have, you know, so there's uh, a lot of value to that. I don't, I, you know. Well, I think that's a good example of when it's, it's a pay, there's a payback. Too, right. That's not so right. Much, and the brick house, house, yeah. I don't <laughs> see what the, well. <laughs> Whether it's the perfect one, but it, it has all this payback that's community-minded and it's training people. Right. It's yeah. All right, so let me try this. So I, I, I did put in review, discuss, and possibly recommend revised guidelines for CPAC. You mm -hmm. know, we may, saw, we may some, Paul may look at this and say, you but, can't. Right. You know, Paul, Mandy told me even on moving Jason into that capital pipeline earlier, that the Charter Commission had a discussion So I put that in its summer 2019, and I did put in CPAC, mm -hmm. Finance Committee, Town Council. And this goes back to the stuff that Gall was beginning to talk about, about really looking at committees and trying to um, understand either which committees could be, I mean, this is not an immediate mm -hmm. um, yeah. goal, but to really find a way to, so, because there are so many committees and so few people on them. Mm -hmm. And what, what is absolutely necessary or what could be combined so it becomes more vital. Um, so, I, again, even though both of those deal with some capital projects, they're the smaller ones, and I kept it under budget and fiscal. So let's move on to the capital plan projects. And that's adopt a comprehensive capital plan. And this is the one where all of us will probably, you know, pull our hair out. 
and go nuts. Um, And Ryan says, would this be the work of JCPC? You know, it's coming up on finance too. Review the proposed capital projects. We that we did that. Review model regarding funding capital projects. We started mm -hmm. that in February. I'm just gonna say when winter. Um, develop a proposed capital, comprehensive capital plan. Yeah, I guess that's right. Have model available to the public. That's going to be much sooner. It's going right. to be available sp uh, spring, right? Um, spring of this year. We're, we're, we're in spring. I, I spring think, just started. I think what you just <laughs> said here, I think we can achieve that. It's got to be stuff that needs to be fixed. Yeah. What is it a model of? It's a model of the budgeting process and impact of decisions. Right. So maybe so that's it's, what it's we a need to say. Right. Or yeah, a modeling tool would be even a simpler way to say it. Regarding. Or you. Yeah, a, it I understand that part. Yeah. Um, so, I think. So I don't know the right words. But so we will know what to do based on this. We will more know. I think, Implications I think the issue some. is it's out of order. Yes, it okay. is out of order. So review proposed capital projects. We did that. Mm -hmm. Review model regarding funding capital projects. We started to do that. And have model available Comes to next. the public is the next one. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. After that, is the develop, develop a proposed comprehensive capital plan. And then convene district meetings in the fall and adopt a comprehensive capital plan. Yeah. It was out of order. Okay. That'll help. And all I'm saying is on the word model, it's, it may be two more words, but it's. Financing model and. Yeah, it's, it kind of. You know, well, you've all heard this, but the questions that are being asked is how much do we have left for everything else? So if we want to continue to do roads and fix our buildings, we have less for the buildings. Yeah, no, I, yeah. So it's helping them see that. You know, Dorothy is saying. Or is other impacts, yeah. Do, you know, so it's. I know, I understand. No, but, but people in town have gotten really excited by the that. fact yeah. that it's not a decision. It's right. A it's a way of knowing the implication of the decision. Right. So, so however we word it, but it's, yeah. It's a tool for us in communicating with the public, public. as right. to the um, various uh, implications of particular plans. Mm -hmm. I'm not all that excited personally about the idea that it goes out to the public. I mean, I, I, don't, I can't stop it, it's gonna happen. But the thought that Dave or Tom or Sally are sitting at home just plugging in numbers and coming up with all kinds of different strategies, maybe this will bring some uh, good, but I think personally I'd rather, I'm glad there's a tool and I, I don't think any of us are gonna be qualified to evaluate the tool, we're just gonna have to trust that, <laughs> that the people who put it together actually know what they're doing. And we're going to use the tool, and we're going to trust what it gives us as numbers. But so, I think the yeah. point but of having the public have it, George, I mean, they're is, going to get it. Is but, yeah. yeah, and I think they should. Um, I think it's the first time the town has said, "Wow, if you want this decision, here's mm -hmm. what is the result. If you want this." Well, that I agree with. The yeah. And the reality yeah, but, is that yeah. if we yeah. have it, it's so, public. Right. No, I, yeah. I I raised yeah, the same anyway, question yeah. to the finance but committee. The it's public. Well, to do this building is 25 million. We can't say suppose it can't. Right, okay. You know, so right. we 
months. Yes, because that's suppose a, I do it in five years rather than next right, year. Right. 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 And there so are there's some limitations just given the nature of it. Right. right. Okay. How about if we say review financial model slash tool regarding funding capital projects? Fine. Okay. Fine. Fine. So that's then fine. if we look at Georgia's comment, I think we've yeah, you've taken take care, care of that. Yeah. And if we look at Mandy Joe's, we couldn't have done this before the school. I, I thought about doing it before the SOI, but there was no way. No, no. no. Yeah, she she There's had Ryan to. She, Lynn. Yeah, Brian she is had under to Lynn. Lynn. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because the way I did it, I can't okay. figure I, out how I to do this. So she had to take everything. In. All right. Here's the energy and sustainability. Adopt climate action. Oh God, <laughs> please. <laughs> my yes. favorite. Committee. Excuse my language. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We adopted it. Yes. We okay. Have done that. Okay. Appoint members. It's In happening works, as yeah. we speak. Probably yeah. by May. Uh, review and adopt climate action goals. There are a number of comments here, Mandy Jo and Evan. Yes. Mandy Jo says it's the right timeline because of the way the thing got written. And Evan, who has been saying this for a long time, has said mm -hmm. it's too ambitious. And this is where you know, there's going to be people who are going to come back and say, this, this committee met, you know, was appointed in May, and over the summer when nobody was around, you drew up these goals. Mm -hmm. Who was there? <laughs> who did you talk to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I think so we have to leave it that way. Did Evan suggest, you know, for example, if we say end of 2019, You know, as originally we thought it would be up and running sooner, maybe, but if it's not up and running until May. And, and he's worried, yeah, he's worried about the OCA. And, right. and he has reason to be um, because we are struggling <coughs> to get. You know what? Yeah, so maybe, that's what he's worried maybe about. Maybe after fall 2019. They're interviewing people now for that committee. Yes, they and are. they're going to be selected by. And, and on Monday, well, by Monday in your packet will be a memo from me saying the following people have volunteered. Um, the following counselors have expressed interest in right. being on this committee, right. and it's a, it's a memo for me to um, which Paul. Which committee are you talking so about now? The ECAC. So, so in terms oh. of which counselor? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I lost track I, of this. Okay. So where it says review and adopt, oops, um, climate action goals, and it says fall 2019, mm -hmm. I think we should say per charge, comma, at, behind that per committee charge. Because that is where it is, and I think we just leave it like that. You know, if they come to us and say, say we, we can't do this. Right. Or we don't put it all on the line. Or they come to us and they say, here's the ones, and we say, well, how many people have you consulted with, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then we say, listen, I think, I think that's great. Take I like this that. back I like out. That word Maybe if we're lucky, we'll just. No, because we might get it and say, go back and look. I mean, we don't yeah. have to adopt it. I know, I know, but you know, yeah. you can also, um, just like you want to assume good intentions, you assume, hey, right. maybe we'd like it. Okay. Okay. Elementary school. Hey. <laughs> this one we can we, say it's completed. We're done. Great. We're as so of good. Yeah. April. Yeah, April 2019. Uh, potentially April as 1st. discussed whether the council consensus has been achieved on the application. Uh, no, we're not going to get into the two building solution. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I keep forgetting. I want us to have a resolution. I haven't had time what? to write a resolution regarding the schools. Okay. Any comments on this one in the timeline? Um, I don't really. I think this is fine. Um, I'm just wondering whether in the future we might want to have a goal of a periodic review. I definitely agree with that. You know, so it's, you know, not that every once in a while when something big is brewing, we, but we, we keep in touch. So we mm -hmm. do an aspiration thing once a year. We do a joint meeting mm -hmm. we're talking about what's happening. And I mm -hmm. saw several towns do this, and I think bigger schools are a huge part of right. it. Budgets and everything else. Yeah. You know what? Let's
let's it let would, me do something. It would be what? Do we want to add a communication with school's goal? I'm just going to put that right mm -hmm. here. Yeah, yeah. And we'll come back to it right. next time so we that meet. That was my intent. It's not just elementary schools. So no. no. The whole right. 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 Okay. Uh, we're done with this goal? For now. Uh, for now. <laughs> Town manager evaluation. Okay. Uh, Okay. If you, your group hasn't discussed this yet, has it? Uh, well, we have. We are, it's on our agenda for Monday because um, we haven't heard back from the rules about what they have decided about the finance committee. We haven't heard what anybody else has had to say about, for sure, if anybody else has decided anything about this. So I know this, this is in finance committee. It's just no, 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 I'm just saying that we're, we're town what manager I, evaluation. What we're going to do on Monday, I brought up, was just let's take a look at our, yeah. OCA has to take a look at its okay. charge. And then I just want OCA to say, like, what do we okay. think about changing okay. it? So Monday, we're going to at least talk about that. And we'll make a decision ourselves, which obviously can be overruled or can be something. I haven't heard anything from anyone. So we're just going to talk about what we feel about it. And then we'll hear back, I'm sure, from other people what other people think about it. And on the finance one, because just tell me, because right now it's on the revised charge is on the agenda for Monday. If it's not ready, then we'll pull it. Um, I just wasn't sure. I mean, I don't really feel clear. I didn't feel clear about what exactly, when rules were reported out, I didn't hear anything from them. So I, the charge doesn't have a process to go through. Okay. Just that we, for non-voting members, we can issue two versions. Okay. You're right. It doesn't. So, then I just, That's, I so it's I, not in there. But when you would come, you would just said, why don't you take a look? These are things that I think right. that you should look at changing. These are mm -hmm. things I suggest that you mm -hmm. change. So I just felt like it was responsible of us to respond to right. that in some way. Right. Mm -hmm. Just So the only see. thing that's in the charge on the agenda for Monday's town's council meeting right. is to change it from four to three yep. outside members right. and to change it to two-year terms. But there's nothing in the charge anymore about who appoints them so or who is, recommends them. Alyssa is doing a report um, ad hoc to this. Mm -hmm. We will talk about the vote on March 5th, which never got to the full council for a variety of reasons. Your mom has said, you know, that we'll talk about what we voted out as right. a process. And that we're just bringing for consideration. So right. it's not a decision. And this is a process for? But isn't that going to open? That should go to OCA. Well, when, what you originally asked, so you can change it. Yeah. As you originally mm -hmm. dumped it into rules. Asking I did, to yeah. Come make up, a decision on it. Make up a decision and vote on it, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. So we right. can always say it should have gone to OCA. But what originally was asked is it came to us. So mm -hmm. the yeah. only thing our committee did, not really, like we knew that it had been mm -hmm. put there. Then you would come to us and propose a couple things. Mm -hmm. And then you've been really trying to nail down that process, which is now called the practice. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing is I did, in response to, we were talking about charges. Mm -hmm. And I did put it on our agenda for Monday for us to consider the changes that you had said we might want to think about. Just so that we, we had that discussion about mm -hmm. our charge mm -hmm. in our committee in a timely manner. But so right now the charge, as I said, says nothing about how right. these people would be interviewed. Right, and in the same case, but, so but it does about. it does change the membership and it does change the terms, and your committee hasn't discussed that yet. Oka um, has not discussed no. that. No. Then I I will pull it from the agenda. Well, for me it's confusing how we go about it because if it was put if it was put somewhere like I don't mind those people reporting out what they think because then I guess like then Oka can say. I guess if some of the process just feels a little confusing, I think all the This one really, really is confusing, and, and I'm sorry for that. And the same thing with the, the, the town manager evaluation. It's like, I feel like there's been constructive conversations maybe in, in other committees, and I think we've sort of heard rumblings about what people are thinking. Right. But the only thing that 
at least I knew of this chair, was that we sh these are things that might be proposed to change and that we as a committee should talk about if we ourselves, okay. yeah, how we feel about changing our charge. Okay. That's so, right. Yes. So does it deal with your, you know, in terms of the term, changing the terms of two years or the changing the number doesn't really affect the individual of the appointment process, right? Not necessarily, no. Okay. No, I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna speak for everybody, but I don't think there was any any objection for anybody on town to talk about changing the term. decided collectively that, that we should do it a different way. We would just weigh in on what sure. that I makes just total that sense. Chair, it just felt respectful to my committee just to ask yep. them out. Right. So agree. I'm asking Kathy, I'm asking um them So then I'm not going to ask to remove it. Yeah, I just would just decide. It. Okay. So you should decide whether you want Alyssa to report out what you all voted on as a way of doing it mm -hmm. or not. And I think the reason it's been set to rules is that the little charter line says based on rules that the council came up with. So it went to rules. You know, like who cares where? You know, it should go anywhere you want. Right? Mm -hmm. Just reading my comment. Okay. All right. So I'm leaving it on, but what the is whole this? issue of the appointment Wait, process. Yeah. You, you still haven't gotten all of this stuff back from town count, town lawyer, have you? So we have no. We were asked for it respectfully by April 1st, which I have heard nothing about okay. because we need to start interviewing right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we did have the, the discussion that we felt like when we talked to Lauren that as long as it was a practice and not a process, mm -hmm. that we could do it this way. So mm -hmm. we need to talk about whether or not we're, I mean, I, we, I, we adopted it. We voted to adopt it. Okay. And we voted on who would do the interviews, which is me. Um, I've talked to um, the chairs of planning and zoning and asked them what their boards, if there's special qualities in people right. or you know certain skills that they feel that they're lacking in their membership that they would like to see, because I felt like that was important for our process. So we are moving along. I think there's just some things that we weren't quite sure, you know, with changing our charge is on our, our agenda. Um, does that seem clear? We were trying to react in a yes. different manner. I should have ever read emails while I'm sitting here. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I resisted the urge. Okay. So, uh, to uh, I'm do. going to suggest that we leave town manager evaluation alone for now okay. and move on okay. to the rules of procedure. Just to sign, you will get a draft, and then you will have to vote on the local council. And do we, how often do we do this? Well, once. once Excuse me. Yeah. Um, we're, what is it proposed to us? Is that a majority of us can change the rules if we want to. You know, so when we adopt them, we could once a year take a look at them and if they're not working, we always can change them. Mm -hmm. So some towns require super majorities, but we decide the majority to do it. Okay. You know, so that when you adopt your, this is the way we're going to operate. And, and I mean, we didn't actually say, you know, we do it once a year. Mm -hmm. We just said a majority. So 
So, you know, it would be, I think your timeline's fine then, because if it's maybe year two, they need your rules once to say, are they working right? You know, is there anything they want to fix that you don't like? Mm -hmm. And would it be GOL that would do that? Or would well, that be? Well, GOL will read Mandy's on both times. Yeah. You know, so Mandy will. We'll let Mandy do it. Mandy will, <laughs> well, she's, we're both drafting right. pieces, but she will make sure. Well, yes, we got right. that covered. You know, Don't worry. We have it covered very well, and people should we're be. We're already working. We're going to be the clearest, consistent, most, uh, right. most actionable group you've ever seen. We're actually a really good group. Yeah, we're very actionable. You know, so so I think it will come in clean enough for you that's not very no. long. So it goes through that process no matter what. Right. But, but these rules, they do pretty simple things to most towns, you know, including we just set up four committees. Mm -hmm. We decide to set up a fifth. Or seven. Or right. nine, right, right. seventeen. Well, the irony is, we actually are going to have one of the a fifth standing committee. It's called the audit committee. Right. So, right. What we need to do is, <laughs> we just need to write it. Okay. So, I'll which, by the way, everybody stood up and said they wanted to I be know, on. You I know. Exactly. Exactly. Well, absolutely. I would <laughs> just love. No. I did when they were maybe. maybe. <laughs> when you said maybe. You said, I'll do whatever Under is my, needed. Over my dead body. Um, <laughs> several <laughs> said, no, no, no. And I, and I actually, it's, I'm, I'm going to be sending you all an email about this just so you know, to say this to? is, it, first of all, it's not a heavy lift. Committee. No, I know. That's it's why. <laughs> once, maybe twice a year. Yeah. Well, I kind of committed. Right. And uh, George and I are definitely The only reason on. I volunteered to be on it is because nobody else did. Ha <laughs> 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 yeah, you got to take some of the poop, too. Some of us are <laughs> class okay. members. Right. And when you do your preferences, when you do more than one, you don't necessarily get what you want. So like, well, oh, you just did. You know, sometimes oh, it's okay. better just to raise your hand for one, even if you're willing to do another. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I had the feeling the audit committee was not a heavy I lift. It was and not. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. But I thought this rules looks fine. And okay. Just Good. So people understand it's not like the you're Constitution. Gonna, Change the. It's not like the charter. <laughs> you know, we, You're not going to have it month by month, but by season, right? Yeah. Go okay. Uh, so we're on the rules. Um, I have no changes on this unless you want to say, you know. In what was Andy Joe's C potential? I think I incorporated it all. C below potential yeah. additions. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Who's next? responsible? Uh, for oh, uh, the rules of procedure. procedure. Yeah. I think we're going to see the council. I'll, right. do. I'll fill I know. that in. I know. Okay, <laughs> not a problem. I got that one. Okay, next Thank one. When I, when now Public we're... way. Oh, right. goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I see, minutes. Evan, you know what? We're Mandy, right. the GOL group, is, is in the process it. of discussing this, and I think... It would be good if we could we wait. Could consult with them and wait, exactly. Okay. Thank uh, you. And find out what they're going to come up with. Okay, the parking. Okay, and just, you know, it's not a natural fit with GOL as we wrote the charge. I mean, that, they're dealing with the simple things, but the larger buses, everything else um, is a transportation policy. And it would be right, that would be town council. Oh, you, you're already down on the next one. No, I'm on transportation in the public way. We wrote it in for the community. Right. It is written in specifically. Right. So it has, at some place, it's going to have to come into community resources. So and I, as far as I know. Um, so I'm just looking under responsible parts. Yeah. George, you were there. But I mean, I'll right. to. Are any of you on GOL? Yep. yep. Haven't you been discussing this? Public, public way, yeah. yes. Public We've way been slogging our way. Resources. Yes. We're in the okay. Oh. No, we haven't been discussing it with community resources. No, no, just that with the No, but have you been discussing that it should, that go. community resources should go to it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm going to ask. One of you uh, needs to come back to the meeting, which I'm going to see if we can meet next Friday again. Maybe not uh, as late as what's the, if the fifth. Um, we'll see. And at the next meeting we have, whenever mm -hmm. it is. I'm going to ask that one of you come in with what GOL wants to have happen here. Will okay. we be ready by then, do you think? If you're ready. If you're not, 
anything. Uh, we'll just make it up. <laughs> you're writing that down for George. I am writing it down for George. Okay. Okay. George. So next meeting you want to know what you Joel wants to do <laughs> public ways. <laughs> okay. Um, and if we ever, I'm not sure when we meet parking again. Parking-related policy. Need another round of public forums on this issue. That's for sure. I'm personally not clear what's meant by this comprehensive parking strategy. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what mine is. Um, okay, parking related policies and issues. Okay. a parking committee. Yeah. Parking and isn't there a consultant that is currently working? Yes. Right. There's supposed to be, again, another one of these reports that everybody's waiting on. Right. Um, was the reason used for not, or at least a reason used for not proceeding with the North Common? Is that, wasn't that one right. of the reasons the given? Common had one of the major, one of the many Christine um, Mullen Gray yeah. is on this committee, on the parking committee. Mm -hmm. Now, I know her from working, she was on my DPW fire committee, so maybe I need to be in touch with her and just say, can you and I talk about that committee and what that committee does? Oh, that would be good. That would be great. And then maybe our activities or Lynn, yeah. a focus meeting on the budget that we're talking about. Mandy Jo is going to demand that. Mandy yeah. Jo is going to she's demand that. She's already demanded it. She's, <laughs> she's very her. clear. And no, but also just what are the meetings? And she also got a, um, uh, she got a question from the reporter at the Collegian as to why she keeps voting <laughs> against, no, why she voted against a certain run oh. and of course, uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters. And she's sitting there. I guess they don't realize I voted against all of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, in all actuality, I voted against all of them. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> okay, communication. Uh, this is Oka. Mm -hmm. So, Oka, we had our subcommittee meeting. Yes. And um, so, um, we're also going to sort of be talking again a little bit about what 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 do people really mean when they are asking Oka to do um, communications and outreach. Mm -hmm. I think it's all about the town council. Remember, these are our goals, okay? Yeah. So it's not what the town should do, it's not what no. the citizens, it's what the town council should do. I, yes. And, so to vote, uh, you know, let's, you know what I'm going to suggest? Let's make this as big as possible yeah. and look where your timelines are so that it's an Oka thing not until this summer or fall. I think so well, too. And, and when you see the rules document, we've, we've written in a bunch of ways for them to look at two provisions of the bus. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know, our district meetings, I mean, the things written into the charter that are supposed to be the communication are the best So I, can, I think we need to they need to be free. Uh, I, there is a vagueness here that I have a question about. Rather, mm -hmm. Where is appointments in this? Well, you, because it, or is that a separate category somewhere separate else? Separate category, but where is it? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Where is it? And and if you listen to sort of what people were saying about how we're working with community participation officers, like you know, our our and how do community participation officers see our role? Right. It's actually very very minuscule. It's not big, and they've actually done a lot of the internal rules work for you. And I, I thought that they had put that in your packet because they said they were going to the, um, the last meeting, but they've already set up all these guidelines for how to have a right, yeah. committee meeting, how to have a district meeting, mm -hmm. what they'll offer you. 
So right. what they're saying is, is that they even see OCA as maybe having a somewhat limited role. They see every single town councilor as being on the front lines. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is something that we'll continue to talk about. We have a subcommittee meeting again on Monday. So, I mean, I think we're online for doing this. There's a suggestion for what you're trying to do here with myself and Kinko. Instead of making this separate as a communication tool, I scroll to the end. Town Council has put in place an informal government as the category. Yep. One, a line in here could be we've got a communication plan set up. Appointments are now working. You know, the appointment process has been put in place and it's working. You know, so our aspiration Just you put, you just have to put a few more lines in there that say that by the end of the year, our aspiration is to have things working, you know, mm -hmm. which would include appointments. So combine this with. Um, so if you scroll to the very bottom. Right, I see it. Right. Just, got, just put this under activities. And, yeah, so and just put take it out as a goal. You know, yeah. take communication out as a separate And just goal. add it as an just activity as the large as goal. The right. aspiration we're communicating well. Right. You know, we've right. got something in place, the appointments are flowing. Right. We figure right. that out. Mm -hmm. And we're all going on a field trip. I think that might work. <laughs> I we've think that progress toward transparency. I say somewhere in the Riviera. You know, the bus bus <laughs> yes. 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 You know, we kind of have to work. See how they handle these things. Put it in at the big end. Are there any other, okay, just think about, stand back, look at this very last one. The town council has put in place a new form of government. Communications, appointments, committees, goals, transparency. I see accomplished goals. I would say established goals, even. You know, I mean, it, that's the we're establishing goals, right? Yeah. You know, we may, you know, all of the above are things mm -hmm. we want to do, but we've established them. I mean, this is not a small amount of work. Mm -hmm. right? I don't know how we're going to ever measure less divisiveness. No, but, yeah. but if you get appointments are flowing, you know, communication, we... Is it, is it felt necessary? I wasn't obviously present at the first conversation. Was it felt necessary to include this? And, I think, and so I why? I think you could get... We included this at our retreat. Okay. Mm. That's where all of these came right, from. Right, that's correct. You're right. But is you it... You know, and some of it was people start to trust the town council. We think it's bringing us something, you know, we're feeling like And somebody made a good point to me when I was um, when you when I mentioned this, and this is the in the uh, the note to my second newsletter. I said, take it out, um, stress the positive. Don't go back to you know the problem. So, so just you know, just say robust public participation, better communication, commit right, right. And, and just take this out. Um, I like that. I like and, that. You know, because like by that. mentioning it, it, people go, yeah, right. We're all divided, and yeah, so we got to make some right. progress. I think you're right. Instead of let me. And so I changed my letter. Say that again, sir. <laughs> Say that again, sir. We're all, we've all worked really hard to cooperate with each yeah. other and just keep afloat. I mean, right. I and it I doesn't mean our decisions are always unanimous, job. but I, really I think do. there's a I lot of respect going on. Yeah. So yeah. instead of progress toward less divisiveness, robust participation. Yeah. 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 Robust input, public right. participation. Robust public Which is, right, that was what they were telling me to. We're trying to get a functioning government. Right. So I pick it up. Yeah. Good job. Oh, by the way, one of the things that Paul has suggested mm -hmm. was that we, you know, have like um, he and I suggested he suggested he and I could together do some kind of hundred day report. It's not going to be hundred days because we're already past hundred days. <laughs> but I said, how about hundred and fifty? Because then the town will have adopted its goals, and here's perfect way of putting it out there. Mm -hmm. Now, it's obviously something that, you remember, I wrote to you, I said, mm -hmm. I like your newsletter, will you do one for the council? Yeah, right, no, sorry about that. But, yeah. <laughs> so how do I find Poor George. George, how do I find No, no, George is definitely it's not doing one. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, I can easily send it to you. Would you send me? Sure. No, I, I probably should send one. I sent one to Lynn. I sent one to Sarah. Um, I'd be happy to send it to you. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. Well, what about we skipped over UMass strategic yeah, agreement? Well, uh, well, is, that, is that a reason? Uh, well, I don't know that we skipped over, but that's exactly where I was going. Oh, good. To All right. The question well, because don't it's, we want to, there's UTAC, there's these things that are, you know, that we, we it's, it's not just the financial thing that we like with universities, but don't we want to be, where are they going? You know, as Sarah and I were talking about North Amherst, are there um, incubated things that can be spun yeah. off and are right. on the street? Yeah, where, yeah where I have we, a hard stop. So here's the question where that, are we as a council? that like other people have raised, and that is, should this be more broad than just UMass? And, and should it right. include? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And, and um, like Paul has mentioned, um, and I did get back in time yesterday that we, you know, we've started having meetings with Hampshire College yeah, good. to look at the impact of their decisions, even the ones we don't know yet, and they don't know yet. And so it's not just exactly. UMass, it's Amherst, Hampshire. And what Amherst College could do for us if they ever decided to would be amazing. Yeah. Maintain yeah. better relationships or communication with, with the, the five colleges or whatever, yeah. four yeah. colleges, yeah. whatever okay. it turns out to be. Right. And then put under going. that mm -hmm. the agreement. Yeah. That would be right. part of it. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's, I don't know whether you text the right one to mention or not, but there's that whole partnership, right. which has an economic development subject right. in it, arts and council. Right. We have to figure out how to get the council involved with this select board votes, you know, and I don't know right. how we can take one of us do it. What about other, uh, I mean, I am attending, uh, as I hope some of you, I know that the, the, the president knows, but I, I've been attending com the Community and Campus Coalition to Prevent uh, Underage Drinking. And that's a, you know, what about other bodies like that where we need to have some somebody mm -hmm. from the council engaged mm -hmm. Um, and uh, is part of this larger picture of being in communication with and working with the mm -hmm. um, Now, we still don't have liaisons, and, and I, I'm just sort of right. <laughs> keep going, partly because it's my district anyway, but it really could be anybody. So yeah. these kinds of bodies are really valuable uh, in terms of just getting to, to talk to and be in communication with some of the other actors at different levels. Now, I don't know how many other bodies are like this, but this one is one for sure. That would seem to fall under this too, in terms yeah, so of. So to make it a broader goal, and you have right. a few things that. Sh sh yeah. How do we reach out to Amherst College? Uh, what would be, you know, it, and yeah. All right, let's look at our calendars. Doesn't yours show up on your on your? I I decided that I can't. I can't. I can't. Well, I know if we do Friday at 4 o'clock, I'm told. So next, we have this MMA re uh, legislation thing. Is it the legislative breakfast at the carriage house? I, I guess hmm. I signed up for that. You, see, you signed up. Yeah. You represent <laughs> us very well. Send the vice, send the vice president. Send the vice president. She said, yeah. oh, it's only a day. worrying that you're going to lose this earring. No, it's no I see. Yep. Um, Thank somebody. you for letting okay. me. Okay. <laughs> Look at Friday afternoon, the 5th. The 5th? Yeah. And it doesn't. You can't. You that's can't. I got Max has surgery. Um, oh, that's right. The 2nd. And mm. then Joe leaves for India on the 3rd. And I'm just not sure what the other stuff he's got yeah, going right. on. Like how sim I, I want to kind of remove myself from that week a little bit, like ahead of time, just because I'm not sure how that's going to go. Mm -hmm. And I have a meeting at three that day. All right, that that eliminates them. Mm -hmm. So then I, oh boy, I hate to do this to you all because we have a meeting on the 12th. Yeah. I could meet right. Twice. I could yeah. meet twice that week. Yeah. Um, All right. So I think I could. Let's look at that week. We have no council meeting that week. We don't have a council. Well, meeting. what about? So, 
Every I'll meet when the council meets. <laughs> we all know that time's free. Yeah. So if you want to put enough time between them, you know, both Monday and Tuesday, okay, late afternoon, uh, as you know, finance meets two to four. I can't meet Monday, Tuesday, but I could meet Monday, I like, can, four. I can do Monday, Monday, the Monday the 8th. Monday the 8th? Monday the 8th. Monday the 8th on any time that works. Four to six? Yes, I can do that. Okay. Rules of uh, no. town Goal. council goals. And it's up here again. We're here instead of that sweet little room. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this worked though. This, this works. Right, right, right. That's good. Yeah. And I'll let Shalini know. So this is um, four to six again, right? That's my, my family. family. Yeah, that's yeah. my family. <laughs> it's probably. No, that's it. So, I'm sorry, April, April 8th, April correct? 8th, Thank you. Six. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> April 8th. We're adjourned. We don't have to do a roll call. I move that we adjourn. I second. All and those in favor? I, and so we're adjourning at 6 so we're, we're done, Lynn.